Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to see another derivation in time response analysis. The topic is settling time. So what is meant by settling time? The output of a system becomes stable or steady at a particular time and that respective time is known as settling time. Right. The response of a second order system, we already know what is the general expression of a second order system. So it is given by C of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus zeta square into sine of omega d t plus theta. Right. So this is the general expression of a second order system under damped case. So when you look carefully, this expression has two components, right? One is exponential component and this exponential component is with the negative sign. So here we are mentioning this one as decaying exponential component, right? And the next one is a sinusoidal, comp sinusoidal component and this sinusoidal component is nothing but sine of omega dt plus theta. So based on these two components, we can define what is a settling time is. So, as I said, the first one is decaying exponential component. The first one is this sinusoidal component will always produce some oscillations because it is a sinusoidal wave, right? A sinusoidal wave is one whose value will change automatically for every half cycle, right? So, a sinusoidal component is the reason for producing oscillations. Whereas this decaying exponential component is the one which reduces the oscillations or which dampens the oscillations, right? So the settling time mainly depends upon the decaying exponential component, right? Hope you people understand, right? So the next thing is based upon this decaying exponential component, we are going to calculate the settling time. So this is our expression, right? And we are considering this decaying exponential component alone. So we are considering only this expression. So at t equal to ts as we are calculating settling time, I am replacing t with ts. So here e power minus zeta omega n ts by root of 1 minus zeta square. And whatever may be the thing which we are calculating, there will be some amount of error, right? So, there are errors known as tolerable errors that is, that is not the actual value, it is the value with some errors but we can consider that value, okay, that is known as tolerable errors. So, here the tolerable error allowed is 2 percentage or 5 percentage, right. So, e power minus zeta omega n t s, this entire thing, we are, I am equating this to 2 percentage error. So, 2 percentage is nothing but 0 0.02. Here the next thing, we are taking log on both sides. In order to eliminate this exponential term, we are taking log. So, minus zeta omega n t s equal to log of 0 0.02. And this value is minus 4. So here both these minus term will cancel each other and this settling time is given by here Ts is equal to 4 and this term when move this side this becomes the denominator part. So 4 by zeta omega n. So 1 by zeta omega n is nothing but T. So here I am replacing this 1 by zeta omega n with T. So for 2 percentage error the settling time is given by 4 T. Right. And again, for 5 percentage error, we are going to equate this exponential term to 0 0.05. Again, taking log on both sides. So, when you take log, log on both sides, sorry, not log. This is ln, right? Here also ln. So, when you take ln on both sides, so this equation becomes like this and ln of 0 0.05 is minus 3. And here both this negative sign cancel each other and our final expression is 3 by zeta omega n which is equal to 3t, right. So here we had calculated for 2 percentage and 5 percentage. So the basic thing is for a specified percentage error. So the settling time can be given by ln of percentage error divided by zeta omega n, right. Here 
you see ln of 0.05 is 3 here. Similarly, the general equation we can write it as ln of percentage error. Here the percentage error is 5 percentage. So, zero, ln of 0 0.05. We are taken only like this, right? So, this is a general expression ln of 0 percentage error divided by zeta omega n. This is the final formula for calculating the settling time. Thank you.